Yeah, welcome to your weed show. We are back, Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. We are at the legendary Una Dilla, place that is near and dear to my heart. The first time I ever watched motocross on television, it was from this track back in the uh, mid 1980s, back when it hosted the US Grand Prix, and it was one of the few races that would get on TV. Uh, this and the iconic 500 US GP at Carlsbad. Red Bud. Red Bud. Red Bud? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. They're yelling Red Bud over there at Honda. The show is brought to you by Honda, actually. The Talon Sports side-by-side, -side. they've got a four-seater model for your family. They've got a two-seater model if you're all about nimble performance. Get up to 20 inches of rear wheel travel with the suspension. You've got a 1,000cc twin-cylinder engine hooked to an exclusive dual-clutch transmission with paddle shifters. It's really fun. Find out how life is better side-by-side -side with a Honda Talon. So uh, in the time off, we've got a couple riders back. I believe Seth Hamaker over here is gonna be back on the number 150, the Monster Pro Circuit Kawasaki. We've had some graduates after we all hung out at Loretta Lynn's for a week. We didn't sweat it out because the weather at Loretta's was good the entire time. No rain, heat and humidity, absolutely in check. It was really a good time actually uh, at Loretta's this year. Normally I say it's the hardest and the best week. A little bit more best, not as much of the hard stuff this time. Uh, but we will have some debuts here, including the Horizon Award winner who I did not plan this. I did not plan that you would be here right now, but it couldn't have worked out better. Levi Kitchen, the Horizon Award winner, is here. Uh, can we call this a debut or where are we at? Because you did race once. We're at Unadilla and I'm going to call this the start. Okay. We'll just call this start. How about that? Okay. All right. And so is it a different Levi than we saw at Redbud? Well, what you learned there um, in the last couple months? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I'm, uh, yeah, Red Bud, you know, the nerves were pretty bad, and I obviously knew Loretta's was the, the goal then. So yeah. Now I'll just do as good as I can out, out here. You know what's funny, though? Okay, do you just ride with the same dudes that are doing the pro stuff all the time anyway, or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, it obviously depends on their schedule. But, yeah. Um, for the most part, yeah, I'm just riding with them. So you already kind of have an idea where you fit in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you flying at the test track in that case? Uh... When I got back this last week from Rose, yeah, I yeah. felt pretty good. I mean, okay. Do you no, hold your own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, is there a thing though where you can hold your own on a say a 30 plus two during the week, but it's different in race conditions that they're used to and you're not? I would think, yeah. I okay. Would say so. You're just guessing though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we're gonna see. <laughs> okay. Uh, and what is that? Is that just like nerves, pressure, that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, nerves, maybe a little pressure, and then also just, I mean, you're racing. You know, yeah. when you're at the practice track, obviously you're trying to race in a sense, but it's kind of hard to uh, mimic the yeah. race itself. Are you excited though? You gotta be excited. Oh yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah. yeah. You gonna sleep tonight? I'm gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> Not at Redbud. It didn't really work, did no, it? No, it didn't work. Okay. Redbud, Maybe a little more this time. Yeah. All right. The Horizon Award winner is here. I'm gonna talk to the points leader too. Welcome aboard, Chef Levi. Uh, there's our man Bevo, who actually does help on the TV crew. You wouldn't even know that. Uh, and we'll talk to Justin Cooper in a second, who is starting to take control. You see the red plates? Uh, okay, so Justin Cooper gets the red plate, takes over the point state at Millville, and people are like, eh. He wasn't very happy on the podium, and he got an overall win with a 2-2 at uh, Thunder Valley. And he was like, eh, he wasn't very happy. I think people were bummed on that. But here's, here's why. Look, he's smiling. He's smiling. Look. You're just a competitive guy. I've heard too many people say, he was talking to me. well, oh, that just brings out the best boss, when you talk to Bevo, up. the boss. Um, I think people are like, I don't understand. The guy doesn't seem excited. He got the points lead. The guy won an overall at Thunder Valley. That's just how competitive you are. Unless it's a great day, you're not going to go and jump for joy over it, right? Yeah, I just had a lot of mistakes to where I, I've thrown away overalls. and Yeah. Yeah, I won at Thunder Valley, but that was round two. We're at round eight now. I have, and, yeah, there hasn't been like, another one. No. no. I've been yeah. darn close, but yeah. Just a uh, little mistakes, but yeah, it's just I want I want the best for myself, and I'm, I'm not happy when I, I don't perform to what I can. So, I mean, you know, as time goes by, we're here, fresh slate. I'm happy. And, okay, uh, all right, you're smiling. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna try and put it on top of this guys. It's the home race and uh we're gonna have a lot of people cheering out there. Well yeah, I'll get to that in a second. But uh Washugal could have should have won the overall. You had a mistake there, but that you didn't seem as bummed because that came from going for the one one. Yeah. Yeah, so you're okay with Washugal actually. Yeah, I rode great there. Uh, yeah. Weird mistake. I don't really I wasn't expecting that. So yeah. that one it was hurt tough to swallow that one, but yeah. overall great, great day for me. I rode really good in both photos and I was trying to win, so uh, no one's really mad. The team's not mad. I'm not mad. We're just uh, we're a few weeks off to think about it, but uh, yeah, we're here. 
here to put two motors together and hopefully get on top. Okay, let's talk about the home thing. Unadilla is weird. You probably haven't raced a big track a ton, right? But do you still get some advantage being here? The fans. The fans, okay. The fans. Okay, you yeah, got I'm the fans. I'm gonna work off them. Uh, All the right. track's super fun. Yeah. The dirt's obviously pretty similar to the amateur track, and I've done a lot of laps there, so. Yeah. Uh, just good vibes here. Uh, I like the track, and you know, it's just a motocross track, so. We're gonna go out there and do the best we can, and I think the fans will give us a little bit extra. Do you feel things are coming your way? Like you did win the overall round two, but do you feel like you're actually way better than you were at the beginning of the series? Yeah, for sure. I think I'm. I'm just confident right now, and I, I know where I'm at. So just a matter of putting it together. I think I've had a lot of mistakes, which is unfortunate, but yeah. I mean, it's hard to keep it consistent over this many motos, and yeah. I'm doing the best I can. So I think yeah, we've come a long way this year, and we're in a good spot. All right, and smiling. Yeah. Smiling. He's happy. All right. That's Justin Cooper. So we got the rookie. We got the point seater. Thanks, Jay Coop. Uh, and he is a New York native. Long Island still has the accent, even though they all ride in uh, Florida. Now, I, oh, let me get it right. Cairo, Georgia is where they do the riding. They all live in Tallahassee, Florida. You've got another points leader here with Dylan Ferrandis. Looks like he's doing a darn photo shoot here. It's like model shoot right here. But I feel like the fan, I feel like the fan makes you look more like, uh, you know, the, the cover of the, the fashion mags where their hair is always blowing in the wind. I feel like it actually looks better uh, that way. What's up, Christian Craig? My first time on the beach. Show. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, riders are never around. And last year, yeah, I wasn't even allowed. Yeah. I wasn't even allowed. We don't have Friday practice. Um, what is it like being in your position? You're right there. You're so close. So do you leave at the race and say, and I'm right there, that's good? Or you're like, yeah, but it, I'm two spots from a podium. Yeah, at first you're like, okay, I'm right there. Yeah. You're happy with it. And okay. after a couple weeks, you're like, what do I got to do now? You know? <laughs> yes, to get so on you that go box. Back, you go back scratching yeah. your head. Yeah. Your, your teammates are killing it. So why can't I be right, you know, right there with them in yeah. the mix? So it's just fine tuning some things during the week and uh, bringing it there on Saturday. If you look at the guys you're ahead of at points or beating in regular motos, and again, it's not new. You were doing that last year, yeah. but that's encouraging, right? Yeah. You're beating a lot of good guys. Yeah, at first I was a little like, uh, wow, like, wow, I am beating these guys. But yeah. now I'm like, okay, you know, I, I've established myself and um, I belong up there. So yeah, I do feel like I am where I'm supposed to be, but um, I've left a couple motos out there where I should have uh, been in the top five. But uh, you know, it happens, it's a long season and we're here to try to get another top five here this weekend. You have to avoid the practice crash. Yes. That's that's a bad trend. I know. Yeah. So every time I've done that, it's been yes. not a good day. Right. So, yeah, just uh, maybe take it easy on the opening laps. Maybe that's kind of the plan tomorrow. Okay. What's Unadilla like for you? I feel like riders either love it or hate it. Where are you at with it? I love it. You do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I didn't I like know there was the any of that. Speed, harder. It's kind of hard packed underneath. It yeah. just depends how much they rip it and then if it rains. So we'll see how it turns out tomorrow. But I, I walked the track a little bit and it's got a hard base. So. That's kind of what I'm used to. Um, I like the new section they added. Yeah, they hill. Brought, brought it back. They didn't add yep. it, but they brought it back. So that's cool. I've never got to do that section, but yeah, looking forward to it. Be fun. Okay, no practice crash, yes. and maybe on the box. We'll see. It's been riding well. Uh, we just talked to you, or was that a different guy? I'm so confused. You like teleported. What's up? What's up, this dog? Is, this is Aaron Plessinger. Where? Okay, riders love and hate you. To do. He doesn't know he's in a race here, so I can't even ask him. Love or hate? I love this place. You do? Yeah. I'm getting a lot more love than I thought. Maybe I it's come it. around. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's always it's always rutted. Yeah. Unless, obviously, they pack it down, which they might because there's a 1% chance of rain. Okay, so, and you're going to be mad about that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Unless, there's, unless there's rain on the track, don't pack it down. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, it looks good. I rode around and, and uh, saw it a little bit, so it's uh it's always been a, a good track for me i've always had at least one good moto here so yeah um yeah i'm looking forward to it didn't you and dylan have like a gnarly mud battle a couple yeah, years ago 2018 yeah it was yeah, good yeah, stuff yeah, yeah that yes was that was fun yeah i'm looking forward to that again okay that's the goal it might rain run it Bro, you've been waiting, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> dude, this dude wants some rain. Every time it's supposed to rain, it rains like maybe a drop or two, and then yes. stops. Yeah, How, how's this kid gonna do? I think he's gonna do good. Has he been fast? He's holding his own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bevo believes. Bevo's just nodding the whole time. Yeah, Your I'm dad is Hall of Famer now. Yeah. yeah. Is he letting you know about this? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. If it rains, we need to get your dad out here. Dude, he probably whooped everybody. <laughs> That's right. KTM.
<laughs> make it 95 happen. 95 KT. Oh, that was his prime prime? Oh, yeah. 94, 95. Yes, shout out to your dad. AMA Hall of Famer now. <laughs> All right, SAP. Uh, Ferrandis, I think, was doing a fashion shoot, it looked like. It looked like a fat. Was it a fashion shoot? <laughs> Look right now with the shades. Looking good. All right, everybody. Dean Wilson, you've been on the show too many times. Sorry, oh, mate. Sorry. You're, 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 you're over the limit. Okay, so uh, if you know the standings coming in, you already know what we're dealing with here at Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. You've got a giant lead for that Ferrandis guy who's doing a sunglasses photo shoot, looking super cool. Uh, Ken Roxon had a bad one at Washougal. Uh, he was sick. Hopefully he feels better this weekend and can show us what we saw that second moto at Millville or at the beginning of the season when he's battling for moto wins. You can never have, as I say, too many riders battling for wins. His teammate Chase Sexton's got some confidence. Sexton, after he won at Washougal, actually discussed real bike changes, cutting the subframe uh, five millimeters, which if you fans are saying, what's up everybody? If you fans are saying five millimeters, seriously, that's like that much. How could he notice that? Dude, the riders can feel one millimeter. I'm not joking you. Uh, so Sexton, like the bike setup better at the last race, he's going to be better. Eli Tomac's really coming on strong. And do not forget Marvin Muskan, who showed us a sign of life at Washougal when he was nearly the fastest qualifier, podium in the first moto. They got a bad start in moto two, but this is a very good track for Marv. Here in Ironman and Washougal, those three tracks, he's always been really good. So do not be surprised to see the number 25 looking more like the old number 25, who is traditionally battling for wins in this series. Uh, that's the 450 division. You already know about Plessinger and Craig. We already just talked to them. And uh, the 250 class, uh, the real story. What's up, Kranz? The real story, it's a one-man, one-man gang over here. Making it happen for Eli Tomac, Brian Kranz, the mechanic. The 250s, we just talked to Justin Cooper. You can see he's smiling, he's happy. The real story is, can Jet Lawrence use that two-week break to kind of reset? Because the beginning of the year, Jet, I think, was the best guy. He had the points lead. He's been good, not terrible but he has not been as good in the second half of the year. A lot of it was starts, but then I think the championship pressure, uh, the points lead starts to shrink. It all starts to build upon itself. And uh, now we have to see how he responds. Uh, can he get back uh, that momentum? And uh, another track, he does have a little experience here. I think he raced this as his debut after Loretta's a couple years ago, uh, but still uh, a very tricky track that riders either love or hate. And uh, this is one Jet Lawrence is really going to need to love because he's got to get back on the board and take momentum back. The points are close in the 250s, but the momentum is overwhelmingly on the side of Justin Cooper right now. And don't forget Jeremy Martin, who is lurking. That's our Weed Show. Thanks to uh, Honda and the Talon Sports Side by Side for backing us. And uh, we got to go. Wait, are we finding some two-stroke people here? Big John, our security man, keeping it locked down. How's the two-stroke for... Uh, your guy, Luke, Luke uh, Renslin. We're, we're, we're taking and tuning, and uh, we're going to make that baby sink tomorrow. Okay. Even better than Southwick, you're thinking? Uh, better than Southwick. We've got a couple issues figured out. So okay. We're, we're looking good. We're going to make everybody proud for the second moto. Yeah. It's not, it's not as good as Hammer. Or both. Hammered by me. Either way. Oh, oh, oh hammered, hammered. Hammered. Okay. Oh, you'll be mad. Oh, yeah. At least do the two motos. Yes. You didn't make it happen last time. Not for lack of trying. Oh, well, the effort was there. We, we did a top end. And 15 minutes? Yes. I heard you almost sped to the line, dungeon style. Almost. After was, the gate I drop. I was thinking about it. Was, yeah. You know, I would have been knocking over people and grabbing babies on the way by, but we're going to try to get to the line either Okay. Way. It's happening this time. It's going to happen. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Get your security. That's uh, Mike Stryker, the mechanic for Luke Rensland, who's back on the 125 this weekend at Udadilla. That's the weed show.